Hello basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about a move, actually quite a few moves that I used to love to use but I was always called for a travel. And now the travel has been busted and it's actually not a travel which is fantastic so I'm going to teach you these moves today. So first off, did you know that you can actually pick up your pivot foot? Yes you can. So for example, if you get this ball and you have both feet on the ground once you establish a pivot foot, so for example, you do an up and under. Now your left foot is your pivot foot. You go up with your shot fake and then you can come around and actually lift up that pivot foot and go for a shot. Now if you don't believe me, there's actually a segment on with an actual NCAA referee who knows the, obviously knows the rule book and I'm going to link that below really quickly. So these are all moves that I used to do that half the time I used to get called traveled on. Now the myth has been busted and I'm going to show you these moves. So like I was saying before, you can pick up your pivot foot and I'm going to show you the up and under which is the first move that I ever learned for the low post. Actually maybe the second move I ever learned for the low post. And how I was always taught and how many players are taught it is you get that ball, you do your shot fake and then when you come around you need to go off two feet at the same time or do a dribble, land on both and go up. Now I still do a lot of the whole up and under where you go the shot fake, bounce in and up. Now that's still a valid move, it's still a really good move to do. However, if you want a quicker move, what you can do now, because obviously the myth has been busted, you have to land on both feet. But to get it, shot fake, and then you can go up. And that's the move really quickly. And if you can go do a really good shot fake, you can get your player up into the air and he is going and you're going to be able to score right around him and this is a nice quick move that will get up your shot before your defender actually lands on the ground. Okay so now this second move I'm going to show you is a step back jump shot fake that you turn into a layup and it includes the pivot and it's not a travel. So this is a move that I could never use in game because it was always classified as a travel in practice and probably most likely would have been called a travel in game. However, this is not a travel, it's been debunked and of course this is a move that I did use on this court when I was younger. So let's get down to it. So this move starts with you receiving the ball somewhere in the mid-range area. So for me, it's going to be roughly right here. Now, what you can do is take one to two dribbles towards the left and step back. You need to land on both feet. The reason for this is because, of course, pivot feet. So you'll take a few dribbles, you'll do a step back, of course, not losing your balance. You're going to take a shot fake. Now either one of these can be your pivot foot. You're going to step through if your defender is in the air, you're going to step through and go up for your shot. So it's going to look like this. And this is not even a travel because what we're doing is we're doing a jump back, landing on both feet, doing a shot fake using the right foot as a pivot foot and then going up for your shot. It's a nice quick move that you can do against any defender in any league and it's not a travel. Okay so this next and third move is again not a travel which is something that a lot of coaches or a lot of referees used to call on me and that is when you catch that ball whether you catch it or you dribble whatever it may be and you're dribbling up and you do a step back and then you take a shot fake which gets your guy in the air and then you do a fade away. Now you may be saying well that's not, a, that's not a travel but I used to get called on it a lot and the reason is is because whether or not you plant this foot first and turn it doesn't matter if you do a jump stop a step back, it lands on both feet, or using your right foot as a pivot foot, it really does not matter. You're going to be stepping into your shot, shot big. If it gets your guy up, then you can do a fadeaway and lift up that pivot foot and you can still make or take that shot and it's not classified as a travel. 
Now, all of these rules are in the actual basketball rule book. There's only like 13 rules in the rule book. And it's how the referees really and really think and look at the rules to themselves. However, the actual rule states that you can lift a leg when you're going up for your shot. So, that doesn't mean that you can't lift up your pivot foot. And if you really think about it, when you're doing a fadeaway anyways, you're lifting up that pivot foot anyways. So what's the difference from dribbling up, having that pivot foot, taking that shot take, and then doing a fadeaway? There is no difference. So that's why none of these are travels. Here's more moves that I know you're gonna love. Okay, so this last and final basketball move I'm gonna show you today is what I call the old man move. This is a move that old men generally make in, this, in the game of basketball, and it blows my mind. We always used to call it a travel. They used to get mad saying it's not a travel, but now because it's been debunked by that video that B-Ball Breakdown made, well, I'm gonna show it to you today. So basically, what you're gonna be doing is dribbling in, and then when you take your last step, your right, left, up, so normal layups, you'd go right, left, up. What, you're what you can do in this move is instead, when you're dribbling in, your right foot is your pivot foot, fake that shot, turn around, and then you've got a jump shot that you can take. Now, because that's not a travel, you can lift up your pivot foot just like you would in a regular layup. Now, this turns into a very valuable move that you can do in an actual game. If a referee obviously calls you for a travel for any of these moves that I showed you today, show them this video, show them the video link below from B-Ball Breakdown, and they're gonna be able to understand that this is really not a travel. So basically all you're gonna be doing, taking that step, taking that layup fake, turning around and taking that shot. So let's see it in fast motion. So like I was mentioning, if you ever get called for a travel, link this video to them. Also link the video link below by B-Ball Breakdown to them and 100% you're not gonna be called to travel ever again. And guess what? These are all legal moves. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.